David and I have had a very strange last 12 hours. Um, yesterday we had an issue with my laptop while we were in town. We didn't get back till probably about 10.30 and it was already dark. We pull into our site <laughs> and there's someone else parked here. I mean, who does that? Who just parks in somebody else's already occupied site? I don't know, it was very odd, but it was dark and we didn't feel the need to disturb them. They were still attached to their trailer. So we were pretty sure they were gonna leave in the morning and sure enough they did. They left about 8.15 or so, but still, there are plenty of other pull-in sites around here and there's a Walmart you can overnight park at. The other really weird thing that happened was at about nine o'clock in the morning, not even an hour later, we wake up to these two trucks pulled into our site <laughs> and they were just sitting in the sand pit in the front of our site and revving their trucks. Woke us up, we looked outside and they were just sitting there looking out their windows at the RV. And all of a sudden, they start peeling out of here, kicking up sand, doing donuts again in the sand pit. And it was just, I got bit by a fly. Ah. Damn it. Ah. Like I said, there were two trucks and they were both black trucks. One pulled out and did a full, almost a full donut and the other one backed up and then floored it out of here, digging big ruts right at the entrance. <sighs> Basically throwing hissy fits that they couldn't be here. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> it was big and loud. And there are a lot of flies today. I don't know who thinks that that's okay. I mean, for all they knew, we had small children. We had, you know, an entire family. We were still sleeping. <laughs> I just don't know who does that. Now, I know that this site is occasionally used as a shooting range, and we're thinking maybe they were coming to go shooting this morning, but it's first used as a dispersed campsite. So, I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking. It's just very odd. It was a very odd morning. First thing this morning, I ran Jenny's laptop into a computer repair shop. Uh, it's about a half hour away in Littleton. We don't have any calling or you know, cell signal of any kind where we're at. They said it might be done today. It's a Saturday, so I'm you know, thinking odds are it won't, but there's a chance. So we wanna know if it's done. They close at five, so we're just gonna head into town and we're just gonna hang out somewhere where we can at least receive a call if they finish the laptop. A laptop's really important to us because I, I run everything on a desktop and we don't have any internet out here so uh, whenever we need to upload anything or do anything to the website or really do anything online we take the laptop into town with us that is so that's like our connection to the rest of the world so with this thing being down that's you know we're really hamstrung what's really unfortunate and you know kind of upsetting is that laptop's only two months old and uh, shortly after I left the computer repair shop they said that it was a hard drive failure that was causing the issue because the laptop wouldn't even boot to Windows it would just turn on and it would say um, automatic repair uh, setting up automatic repair or something like that and then the screen would go black and it would just sit there indefinitely so something ma majorly wrong was uh, wrong with the laptop so turns out it's a hard drive failure it's only two years old or two months old so it's really unfortunate and yeah, but uh, you know, we have to get it repaired. I'm sure it's under warranty, but we, we just don't have time to send the laptop off to HP and have it repaired under warranty because, you know, we only plan on being here in New Hampshire for a couple more, or you know, three or four more days, and then we want to head off to Maine. And even if we go into Maine, you know, we don't have an address for them to ship the laptop back, and who knows how long they'll have it, and we just, we can't. We just can't wait, unfortunately. So we're just having it repaired locally and you know, it's unfortunate, but it happens. So Jenny, <laughs> how do you think the laptop broke? Oh, I don't know. Probably when I spilled a drink on it yeah. <laughs> the other day. Uh, well, I mean, I didn't spill a drink on it. I spilled a drink on the table and it just happened to go under the laptop. But when we picked the laptop up, it was dripping out of it, wasn't it? Yeah. But it's worked for like a whole week since then, so... I don't know. That's the only thing I can think of. And it's my fault. <laughs>
maybe, maybe not. Probably. It <laughs> Probably. is. Probably. Hey. Is. <laughs> <laughs> I accept full responsibility. It's but... okay. They're fixing it. We'll get it back. Honey. 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 It's kind of tight. <laughs> Excuse me. Hi. Hi. Oh. Not feeling it. <laughs> Vincent. Vincent? Vincent. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Vincent Van Goat. He's loving what it. What a perfect name. He's yeah. pushing against me. Oh, yeah. That feel good. <laughs> so the town of Bethlehem had some kind of art walk and parade going on. That is this big whole town, like local arts and crafts display type of thing that ended like just as we got here. So it's, <laughs> it just figures that, you know, it was ending when we just got here. We did get to see the end of it though. So we got to see some neat things, but we missed like the majority of it, which is how it works, I guess. They have cool benches. Yeah, they have a lot of cool benches. So, benches. yeah, got to see those. I think that means the laptop's ready. Laptop ready? Laptop's ready. Awesome. Is it fixed? It works. Yay! The laptop repair place was in a town over from where we were, so after grabbing our laptop, we decided to head down downtown um, and finish some work we were doing when her laptop failed. So we're heading into this coffee shop, um, just down from where we parked. It's this quaint little place, so we're gonna hang out there and finish up. So in total, the repair on Jenny's laptop cost $200 which is pretty salty, but I, I don't think we really had any other option. We, we couldn't wait to send it back into HP for warranty work, so yeah, this, this laptop being really our, you know, our connection to the internet when we head back into town, because we don't have any signal at our site, you know, we really had to, had to get it fixed. So we're gonna go ahead and head back to the RV and uh, you know, just end the night there. So we'll see you guys later. Wait. What? I did find out, or uh, we did find out that uh, there wasn't any sticky residue on the inside, so right. I don't think it was my fault. <laughs> yeah. Well, they at least said there wasn't any, but I bet there was some somewhere. Probably. <laughs> yeah, but it wasn't all over the place. So. It wasn't the reason the hard drive failed, at least. Yeah, I guess you didn't ruin the computer. All right, there we go. It ruined itself. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys.